Dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to study the endodontic anatomy of the permanent mandibular second molar. This is the mesiodistal outline of the permanent mandibular second molar. This is the mesial pulp horn, the mesial pulp, mesiobuccal pulp horn, and the mesiobuccal pulp horn. It is larger as and more prominent as compared to the to the distobuccal pulp horn. The overall dimensions of the pulp chamber it is slightly less as compared to the first molar. So this is the mesial root. In the mesial root there are two canals that we will discuss in the mesial, uh, when we'll discuss the proximal aspect of this tooth. So, in the mesial root, the canal, it has a slight curvature in the apical one-third. This is the floor of the pulp chamber, which is slightly below the cervical line. And this is the distal canal. The distal canal, it is usually, there is single canal, it is straight and it is wider as compared to the mesial canal. Now, uh, this is the bacolingual section. This is the bacolingual section from the mesial aspect. So, the mesial this is the mesiobuccal pulp horn and this is the mesiolingual pulp horn. So the mesiolingual pulp horn, it is more prominent as compared to the mesiobuccal pulp horn. So in the mesial root, there are two canals. One is the mesiobuccal canal and the second canal, it is the mesiolingual root canal. Usually, both of these canals, they exit through the separate apical foramen. So, this is the mesiobuccal canal. And this is the mesiolingual canal now uh, let's discuss the midroot section so in the midroot section this is the mesial root which is slightly larger and oval to kidney shape as compared to the distal root which is oval and slightly smaller as compared to the mesial root. As I have already mentioned the mesial root it has two canals which are rounded in shape mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual canal while the distal root it usually it has a single canal which is a large oval to round it in shape. In around 8% of the mandibular second molars, there are two canals like the mesial root. So, but usually uh, the distal root, it has a single canal. So in summary, uh, this tooth, it has four pulp points that correspond to the four cusps of the mandibular second molar. The mesial root, it has two canals and the distal root it has usually it has a single canal so this is all about the endodontic anatomy of the permanent mandibular second molar if you have any questions suggestion or feedback do ask in the comment below and follow our instagram account at dental edu hub for questions images and flashcards Again, thank you so much and stay blessed.